Chapter 1 Early Life Mother Teresa, known globally as a symbol of charity and kindness, was born on August 26, 1910, in Skopje, then part of the Ottoman Empire, now the capital of North Macedonia. Her birth name was Anges Gongshi Bojaksu. Her family was of Albanian descent, with her father, Nikol Bojaksu, being a successful businessman, and her mother, Dradophile Bojaksu, a devoutly religious woman. Anges was the youngest of three children, and she was deeply influenced by her parents' compassion and generosity. Her father was involved in Albanian community politics in Skopje and was known for his work in helping the less fortunate. Tragically, he died when Anges was only eight years old, which had a profound impact on her and her family. Despite the challenges, her mother raised her with strong values, emphasizing the importance of helping those in need. From a young age, Anges was fascinated by the stories of missionaries and their work in Bengal, which she learned through her involvement in the local church. This early exposure to the concepts of missionary work and serving others played a significant role in shaping her future path. She was deeply involved in her church, often participating in activities organized by her local parish. Her religious faith grew stronger with time, and by the age of twelve, she felt a calling to a religious life, a decision that was solidified in the years that followed. Anges's early life in Skopje was not only marked by religious and familial influences, but also by the rich cultural and historical context of her surroundings. She lived in a region undergoing significant political and social changes, which exposed her to a variety of perspectives and experiences. These experiences contributed to her understanding of the world and her place in it, fostering a sense of empathy and a desire to make a meaningful impact. Her mother's influence cannot be understated. Dranophile Bojaksu, a deeply religious and compassionate woman, often invited the city's poor to dine with her family and taught Anjez and her siblings the value of charity and kindness from a young age. This nurturing environment, combined with the loss of her father and the political and social changes occurring around her, played a crucial role in Anjez's development into a compassionate and driven individual. The young Anjez Gongshi Bojaksu's upbringing in early 20th century Skopje laid the foundation for her future as Mother Teresa, a global icon of charity and compassion. Her early life experiences, from the tragic loss of her father to the inspiring lessons in generosity and faith from her mother, deeply influenced her character and life choices. This background, steeped in faith, compassion and a rapidly changing world, set the stage for her remarkable journey from a young girl in Skopje to a revered figure known for her selfless dedication to helping the poor and the sick across the world. At the age of 18, Anjez Gonch Bojaksu, later known as Mother Teresa, made a life-changing decision to leave her home in Skopje and follow her calling to become a missionary. She knew she wanted to help the poor, and this led her to the Sisters of Loreto, an Irish community of nuns with missions in India. In 1928, Anjez travelled to Ireland, a journey that marked the beginning of her life as a nun and a servant to the needy. Her first step in this new journey was to join the Loreto Abbey in Rathfarnham, Ireland. This was a significant move, as it was here that she began her religious training. One of the most important steps in this process was adopting a new name, as was the custom for nuns. She chose the name Teresa after Saint Therese of Lisieux, the patron saint of missionaries. This new name symbolized her new identity and dedication to her religious calling. The time she spent in Ireland was a period of learning and adaptation. She learned English, a language essential for her future work in India, and immersed herself in the teachings and practices of the Sisters of Loreto. Her time at the Abbey was also a period of spiritual growth and deepening commitment to her faith and her mission. 
The life of a nun required discipline, humility, and a deep dedication to service, all qualities that Mother Teresa embraced wholeheartedly. In 1929, after a year of training and preparation in Ireland, Mother Teresa was sent to India, where she would spend most of her life serving the poor and the sick. Her journey to India marked the end of one chapter in her life and the beginning of another. It was in India that she would find her true calling and make an indelible impact on the world. The move from Scotch to Ireland and then to India was not just a geographical journey for Mother Teresa, it was a journey of transformation. From the young Anges Gokshi Bojaxiu in Scotch to Sister Teresa in Ireland, and eventually to Mother Teresa in India, each step of her journey was guided by her unwavering faith and her relentless desire to serve the most vulnerable. This early period of her life, moving from her home to Ireland and joining the Sisters of Loreto, laid the foundation for her future work and the remarkable legacy she would leave behind. It is a testament to her courage, her faith, and her unyielding commitment to her calling that she was able to leave her home and travel to distant lands to fulfill her mission of serving others. Chapter 2 The Calling Mother Teresa's journey towards religious life began early, shaped by her family's deep faith and her own growing desire to serve others. At the young age of twelve, she experienced what she described as her first calling, a moment of spiritual awakening that ignited her passion to dedicate her life to God. This calling was not a loud, dramatic event, but a quiet stirring within her heart, a sense of being drawn towards a life of service and devotion. It was a moment that would define the rest of her life, setting her on a path towards becoming a nun and a missionary. As she grew older, this calling only became stronger. She was inspired by the stories of missionaries and their work, particularly in Bengal, India. The tales of serving the needy and spreading the teachings of Christianity in far-off lands resonated deeply with her. The more she learned, the more she felt a deep connection to this mission. Her desire to be a part of this life of service was not just about religious duty, it was a profound longing to make a real difference in the world, to bring light and hope to those in darkness and despair. Mother Teresa's decision to become a nun was not made lightly. It required her to leave behind her family, her home, and everything familiar to her. This decision was a testament to her strong faith and determination. She knew that following her calling would lead her to a life of challenges and hardships, but her faith and love for God and humanity gave her the courage to move forward. In 1928, at 18 years old, she made the bold step of leaving her home in Skopje to join the Sisters of Loreto in Ireland. This was her first major step towards fulfilling her calling. It was a leap into the unknown, a journey that would take her thousands of miles away from everything she knew. But she was driven by a deep conviction that this was her path, her destiny. The years that followed were a time of training and preparation, as she embraced the life of a nun and learned the skills she would need for her mission. She took on the name Teresa and dedicated herself fully to her religious vocation. Her time in Ireland was short but significant, a period of transition and transformation that prepared her for the next chapter of her life in India. Mother Teresa's calling to religious life was the cornerstone of her entire existence. It guided every decision she made and every action she took. Her journey from a young girl in Scotia to a nun in Ireland was marked by her unwavering faith and her relentless commitment to her calling. This calling was not just a personal choice, it was a response to a deeper, spiritual invitation to serve a cause greater than herself. It was this calling that led her to become one of the most revered figures in the world, known for her compassion, her selflessness, and her unending dedication to the poorest of the poor. Mother Teresa's journey to India in 1929 marked a significant turning point in her life, embodying her commitment to her calling as a missionary. 
Leaving behind the familiar surroundings of Ireland, she embarked on a long voyage to a land vastly different from her own. Her destination was Darjeeling, a town in the Himalayan foothills of India, known for its tea gardens and breathtaking views. This journey was not just a physical relocation, but a leap into a new world, a world that would become central to her life's work. Arriving in India, Mother Teresa was immediately struck by the stark contrasts and the overwhelming needs of the people. The sights, sounds and smells of India were a world away from what she had known. She encountered a land of profound beauty, but also of immense poverty and suffering. This new environment was both challenging and inspiring for her. It deepened her resolve to make a meaningful difference in the lives of those around her. Her initial assignment was as a teacher at Street Mary's School for Girls in Calcutta, now Kolkata. This was a school primarily for girls from well-off families. While she taught geography and history with dedication and love, her heart was increasingly drawn to the plight of the poor outside the convent's walls. The stark contrast between the relative comfort of her students and the dire poverty of the streets of Calcutta was a constant reminder of the suffering in the world. The experience of teaching at Street Mary's was crucial for Mother Teresa. It was here that she honed her skills as an educator, a role that would prove invaluable in her later work with the poor. She was a beloved figure at the school, known for her kindness, patience and ability to inspire her students. However, as much as she valued her role as a teacher, she couldn't ignore the call to serve those in greater need. The most transformative moment came in 1946, what Mother Teresa described as her second calling. She was travelling to Darjeeling for a retreat when she felt an inner command to leave the convent and live among the poor while helping them. This moment was a profound spiritual experience for her, guiding her to a new path of serving the poorest of the poor. Following this second calling required a leap of faith. It meant leaving the security of the convent and stepping into the uncertainty and challenges of working in the slums. But Mother Teresa was determined. She pursued the necessary permissions to leave the convent and start her new mission. This process was not easy, but her conviction and faith eventually led to approval from the church authorities. Mother Teresa's journey to India and her initial experiences that were foundational to her life's mission. The transition from a teacher in a convent school to a servant of the poor in the slums of Calcutta was a remarkable shift that showcased her deep commitment to her faith and her unshakable resolve to make a difference in the world. Her early years in India were a time of learning, growth and profound transformation shaping her into the global symbol of compassion and service that she is celebrated as today. Chapter 3 Teaching in Calcutta Mother Teresa began her journey in Calcutta, India, as a teacher at Street Mary's High School for Girls. This was a significant chapter in her life, where she dedicated herself to educating and nurturing young minds. Street Mary's, a school mainly for privileged girls, provided Mother Teresa with an opportunity to impart knowledge and values to her students. Her teaching style was unique and heartwarming, filled with love, patience and understanding. She believed that education was not just about learning facts, but about building character and kindness, which she demonstrated in her interactions with the students. At Street Mary's, Mother Teresa was more than just a teacher. She was a mentor and a figure of compassion. Her students admired her for her simplicity and her dedication. She often went beyond the standard curriculum, teaching her students about the importance of service and empathy towards the less fortunate. Her lessons were not confined to the classroom. She often organised outings and activities that helped in building a sense of social responsibility among the students. Despite the comfort and respect she enjoyed at Street Mary's, Mother Teresa could not ignore the stark contrast between the life inside the school 
and the reality outside its walls. The poverty and suffering on the streets of Calcutta weighed heavily on her heart. She had often found herself thinking about the poor and the helpless, wondering how she could make a difference in their lives. This inner conflict was a driving force behind her eventual decision to leave the school and dedicate herself fully to serving the needy. Mother Teresa's time at Street Mary's was a period of deep reflection and growth. It was here that she developed a clear vision of her mission. She realized that her calling was not just to educate the young, but to serve the poorest and the most vulnerable. Her experiences at the school were instrumental in shaping her future path. They taught her the power of education to change minds and hearts, a lesson she carried with her throughout her life. The impact Mother Teresa left on Street Mary's was profound. She inspired her students to think beyond themselves and to look at the world with empathy and kindness. Her legacy at the school went far beyond her years there, as she left behind a trail of inspired young women who had been touched by her teachings and her spirit. Mother Teresa's tenure at Street Mary's High School in Calcutta was more than just a chapter in her career. It was a pivotal stage in her journey towards becoming an ambassador of love and service. Her role as a teacher allowed her to touch many lives, but it also set the stage for her greater mission in life, serving the poorest of the poor and becoming a symbol of selfless love and dedication. Mother Teresa's time as a teacher at Street Mary's High School in Calcutta had a lasting impact on her students, leaving an indelible mark on their lives. She was not just an educator in the traditional sense, but a source of inspiration and moral guidance. Her approach to teaching went beyond the academic subjects. She instilled values of compassion, empathy and service in her students. Mother Teresa believed that education was a tool to not only impart knowledge, but to shape character and inspire change. Her lessons often extended beyond the classroom walls, emphasizing the importance of caring for those less fortunate. The students at Street Mary's were deeply influenced by Mother Teresa's teachings and her example. She brought a unique perspective to her classes, often sharing stories and experiences that highlighted the struggles of the poor and the importance of kindness. Her gentle yet firm manner in teaching and guiding her students helped foster a sense of responsibility and a desire to make a positive difference in the world. Many of her students were moved by her dedication and began to volunteer, helping the less privileged, an action directly influenced by Mother Teresa's influence. Mother Teresa's impact on her students was profound. She opened their eyes to the realities of the world beyond their sheltered lives. She taught them to look beyond their immediate surroundings and to understand the value of service. Her teachings were not just about charity, but about understanding and empathy. She encouraged her students to see the dignity in every person, regardless of their social status or circumstances. Moreover, Mother Teresa's presence in the school was a lesson in humility and selflessness. She led by example, showing how actions speak louder than words. Her simple lifestyle and her genuine concern for others were powerful lessons in themselves. The respect and admiration she earned from her students were not just for her knowledge, but for her character and her commitment to living a life of service. Even after Mother Teresa left Street Mary's to dedicate herself fully to working with the poor, her legacy continued to influence her former students. Many of them carried forward the values she had instilled in them, applying the lessons of compassion and service in their own lives. Some even joined her in her mission, drawn by her example of unconditional love and dedication to the needy. Mother Teresa's time at Street Mary's High School was a significant period that shaped the lives of many young women. Her teachings went beyond the academic, touching the hearts and minds of her students and inspiring them to lead lives of purpose and service. The impact she made on her students is a testament to her extraordinary ability to influence and inspire, not just through her words, 
but through the power of her example. Her legacy at Street Mary's is a reflection of her broader impact on the world, an impact marked by compassion, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. Chapter 4 The Second Calling In 1946, Mother Teresa experienced a pivotal moment that she described as the call within a call. This profound experience happened while she was on a train journey to Darjeeling for her annual retreat. It was a moment of deep spiritual insight where she felt an inner voice, a divine calling urging her to leave the convent and serve the poorest of the poor in the slums of Calcutta. This call was so powerful and clear that it left no room for doubt in her mind. It was a directive that came from her deep faith, a message that she felt was directly from God, asking her to extend her service beyond the boundaries of the convent and to the most destitute and forgotten people. This second calling was a turning point in Mother Teresa's life. It transformed her mission and set her on a path that would define her legacy. The call was not just about helping the poor, it was about living among them, sharing their struggles and showing them unconditional love and compassion. This was a radical shift from her life as a teacher at Street Mary's High School where she was working in a more protected and structured environment. Responding to this call was not easy. It required immense courage and faith. Mother Teresa had to seek permission from her superiors in the church to leave the convent and start her new mission. This process took time and persistence, as it was an unusual request and not easily granted. However, her conviction and determination eventually led to the church granting her the necessary permission. Once she received approval, Mother Teresa began her new life in the slums of Calcutta. She started with no funds and had to rely on her faith and the generosity of others. She started teaching the children of the slums, writing alphabets in the dirt, and gradually her work expanded. She visited families, helped the sick and the dying, and brought a message of hope to those who had been forgotten by society. This phase of her life was challenging but also deeply fulfilling. Mother Teresa often spoke of the joy and satisfaction she found in serving the poor. She believed that in serving them, she was serving Christ himself. Her work soon attracted other women who wanted to join her in her mission, leading to the formation of the Missionaries of Charity. Mother Teresa's second calling was not just a personal transformation, but a milestone in her journey of service. It marked the beginning of her work as a global symbol of charity and compassion. Her decision to answer this call and serve the poorest of the poor in the slums of Calcutta is a powerful example of faith in action. It shows how a single moment of clarity and conviction can lead to a lifetime of extraordinary service and impact, changing not only the lives of those served but also inspiring countless others around the world to follow in her footsteps. Mother Teresa's decision to leave the convent and serve the poorest of the poor in Calcutta was not without challenges and doubts. Her second calling required her to step into an entirely new and uncertain world. She had to leave the comfort and security of the convent, a place that had been her home and her community for many years. This step into the unknown was filled with difficulties, both practical and emotional. Mother Teresa faced the daunting task of starting her mission from scratch, with no money or resources at her disposal. She had to rely entirely on her faith and the kindness of strangers to begin her work. The initial days in the slums were tough. Mother Teresa had to adapt to the harsh realities of life in the slums. The poverty, suffering and despair she witnessed were overwhelming. She often encountered people who were dying on the streets, with no one to care for them. The magnitude of the need was immense and at times it seemed like an insurmountable challenge. She had moments of doubt and uncertainty, wondering how she, a single individual, 
could make a significant impact in the face of such vast suffering. Despite these challenges, Mother Teresa persisted. She believed strongly in her mission and was driven by a deep conviction that this was her calling. Her faith was her guiding light, helping her to overcome the doubts and fears that arose. She started by teaching the children in the slums, using whatever resources she could find. Slowly, she began to make a difference, bringing hope and comfort to those she served. Another significant challenge was the skepticism and lack of understanding she faced from others. In the beginning, not everyone understood or supported her mission. Some people doubted her motives, while others questioned her methods. However, Mother Teresa did not let this deter her. She continued her work with unwavering dedication, and gradually her sincerity and the tangible impact of her work won over many of her critics. The establishment of the Missionaries of Charity was a pivotal moment in overcoming these challenges. As more women joined her in her mission, it became possible to extend her reach and help more people. The growth of the organization was a testament to her resilience and her ability to inspire others. The missionaries of charity became a symbol of hope and compassion, not just in Calcutta, but around the world. Mother Teresa's journey in overcoming challenges and doubts is a powerful part of her story. It highlights her extraordinary strength, faith, and commitment to her calling. Her ability to persist in the face of obstacles, to maintain her focus and compassion amidst immense suffering, and to inspire others to join her cause is a testament to her remarkable character and her profound impact on the world. Her story teaches us about the power of faith and the impact one person can have in making the world a better place even in the face of overwhelming odds. Chapter 5. Founding the Missionaries of Charity The founding of the Missionaries of Charity by Mother Teresa in 1950 marked a significant chapter in her mission to serve the poorest of the poor. After receiving approval from the Vatican, she began this ambitious endeavour in Calcutta, India. The Missionaries of Charity started as a small community with a big vision to care for those no one else was prepared to look after. Mother Teresa's own experiences in the slums of Calcutta had deeply moved her, and she was determined to create an organization that could address the immense needs she saw every day. In the early days, the missionaries of charity faced numerous challenges. They had very little in terms of resources and funds. The initial group comprised just a few members most of whom were former students of Mother Teresa from Street Mary's High School. They started their work in the slums, helping the sick and the dying and caring for abandoned children. The conditions were tough, and the work was both physically and emotionally demanding. Despite these hardships, Mother Teresa and her fellow sisters were driven by a profound sense of purpose and commitment. Mother Teresa's leadership was pivotal during this period. She led by example, showing an extraordinary level of compassion, resilience and humility. Her approach was hands-on. She was often seen caring for the sick, teaching the children and doing whatever was necessary to support the mission. Her actions and unwavering dedication deeply inspired her small team, who worked tirelessly alongside her. The early days of the missionaries of charity were also a time of learning and adaptation. Mother Teresa realized that to serve the needs of the poorest, the organization had to be flexible and responsive to the changing circumstances. They often had to find creative solutions to problems, work with limited resources, and constantly adapt their approach to care and service. This period was not just about providing physical aid, it was also about offering love, respect and dignity to those who had been forgotten by society. Gradually, the work of the missionaries of charity began to gain recognition. People from all walks of life started to support their mission. Donations came in, more volunteers joined, and their capacity to help grew. 
The small group that had started with humble beginnings was now making a significant impact in the lives of the people in Calcutta. The establishment and early days of the missionaries of charity were a testament to Mother Teresa's vision and determination. Faced with enormous challenges, she and her sisters persevered, driven by their faith and the desire to serve the needy. The foundation of the missionaries of charity was not just the start of an organization, it was the beginning of a global movement of compassion and service that would eventually reach far beyond the streets of Calcutta, touching the lives of people all over the world. The missionaries of charity, founded by Mother Teresa, was built on strong principles and values that guided its members in their service to the needy. From the outset, Mother Teresa was clear about the mission of her organization, to care for the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the leapers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. This mission statement reflected her deep commitment to serving the most marginalized and forgotten individuals in society. The principles of the missionaries of charity were rooted in Mother Teresa's strong Christian faith. The core values included a profound respect for life, a commitment to poverty, chastity, obedience, and wholehearted free service to the poorest of the poor. These values were not just abstract ideals. They were lived out daily by Mother Teresa Anne and her fellow sisters. Choosing to live in poverty, the sisters shared in the experiences of those they served, fostering a deep sense of empathy and understanding. The early members of the Missionaries of Charity were a small group of dedicated women who were drawn to Mother Teresa's vision and mission. Many of them were her former students from Street Mary's High School who were inspired by her example and teachings. These women, like Mother Teresa, chose to leave their previous lives behind and dedicate themselves fully to serving the poor. They underwent rigorous training, which included nursing and basic medical care, to prepare them for the challenges of working in the slums. The life of a missionary of charity was not easy. It involved long hours, hard work, and often emotionally draining tasks. The sisters worked in the slums, caring for the sick, the dying and abandoned children. They provided food, medical care, and comfort to those in need, often in very challenging conditions. Despite these hardships, the sisters were driven by a strong sense of purpose and the joy of serving others. Mother Teresa's leadership played a crucial role in guiding and inspiring the early members. Her own lifestyle was a powerful example of the values she preached. She lived among the poor, sharing their hardships, and always put the needs of others before her own. Her humility, compassion, and unwavering commitment to the mission inspired her followers to persevere, even in the face of difficulties. The principles and early members of the Missionaries of Charity laid the foundation for what would become a worldwide movement of compassionate service. The organization's commitment to the poorest of the poor and its unwavering adherence to its core values attracted many more members over the years. The early days of the Missionaries of Charity, with its challenges and triumphs, set the stage for its growth and the significant impact it would have in serving the needy across the globe. The legacy of Mother Teresa and her early followers continues to inspire and guide the work of the missionaries of charity, making a lasting difference in the lives of countless individuals. Chapter 6 Serving the Poorest of the Poor Mother Teresa's work in the slums of Calcutta is a story of profound compassion and dedication. When she began her mission in the slums, she was confronted with extreme poverty and suffering. The slums were crowded, with families living in small, makeshift homes. Many people were sick and had no access to medical care. Children roamed the streets, many of them hungry and without any education. Mother Teresa saw the desperate need for help and was determined to do whatever she could to ease their suffering. 
she started by setting up a school in the slums. With no classroom or supplies, she began teaching the children in the open, using a stick to write in the dirt. Her lessons were not just about reading and writing. She also taught the children basic hygiene and values like kindness and sharing. Her school in the slums was a beacon of hope, offering not only education but also care and attention to children who had been largely forgotten. Mother Teresa also began to visit families in the slums, helping them with their needs. She provided food to the hungry, cared for the sick, and comforted the dying. She treated everyone she met with dignity and respect, showing them that they were valued and loved. Her work extended to all, regardless of their religion or background, embodying her belief that everyone deserved compassion and care. In the slums, Mother Teresa faced numerous challenges. The conditions were harsh and resources were scarce. Yet she worked tirelessly, driven by her faith and her deep commitment to the poor. She often said, We can do no great things, only small things with great love. This philosophy guided her work in the slums, where even the smallest acts of kindness made a significant difference in people's lives. One of the most notable aspects of Mother Teresa's work in the slums was her focus on caring for the sick and the dying. She set up the Kaleat home for the dying, where people who had no one to care for them could come and be looked after. Here, the sick were given medical attention, and those who were dying were able to do so, with dignity and in the presence of someone who cared. Mother Teresa's work in the slums of Calcutta was a powerful example of selfless service. She gave hope to the hopeless and brought light into the lives of those living in darkness. Her compassion knew no bounds, and she dedicated her life to serving the poorest of the poor. Her work in the slums was not just about providing physical aid, it was about bringing love and humanity to those who had been deprived of it. This work laid the foundation for the global mission of the Missionaries of Charity, which continues to serve the needy in Calcutta and around the world. Mother Teresa's legacy in the slums of Calcutta is a testament to the power of love and compassion to transform lives. Mother Teresa's work in the slums of Calcutta was just the beginning of her mission to serve the poorest of the poor. As her work gained recognition and support, she was able to expand her services and care to more people in need. This expansion was a remarkable journey, marked by both challenges and triumphs. One of the first expansions was the establishment of the Nirmal Pride, Pure Heart, home for the dying and destitute. Located near the Kaleat Temple, this facility provided a place where the sick and dying, who were often found on the streets, could receive medical care, love and attention in their final days. This home was a sanctuary for many who had nowhere else to turn. Mother Teresa also recognized the need to care for abandoned and orphaned children. She founded the Nirmala Shishu Bhavan, the home for many children, to provide shelter, food, medical care and love to these vulnerable children. Here, children who had been left to fend for themselves found a safe haven and a chance for a better future. These children were given not just the necessities of life, but also education and a nurturing environment to grow up in. Another significant area of expansion was in the field of medical care. Mother Teresa and her sisters set up mobile clinics to provide medical aid to those who could not come to their centres. These clinics went into the slums and rural areas, bringing much-needed medical services to the doorstep of the poor. They treated a variety of ailments, from minor injuries to serious diseases, and provided essential medicines and care. The missionaries of charity also began to reach out to those suffering from leprosy, a disease that was highly stigmatized at the time. They set up leprosy clinics to treat and care for those affected by this disease. In addition to medical care, they also provided rehabilitation and helped leprosy patients reintegrate into society, 
breaking down the barriers of fear and discrimination. As the missionaries of charity's work expanded, so did its membership. Many more women joined Mother Teresa, drawn by her mission and inspired by her example. These women, from various backgrounds and nationalities, contributed significantly to the expansion of services. They brought with them diverse skills and a shared commitment to serving the needy. Mother Teresa's vision and efforts led to the global expansion of the missionaries of charity. New centres were opened in different parts of India and eventually in other countries around the world. Each centre followed the same principles and dedication to serving the poorest of the poor. The expansion of services and care by the missionaries of charity under Mother Teresa's leadership is a testament to the power of compassion and determination. It shows how a small initiative in the slums of Calcutta grew to a worldwide mission, bringing hope and help to countless people. Mother Teresa's life and work demonstrate that with faith, love and dedication, it is possible to make a significant impact on the world and touch the lives of many. Chapter 7 Expanding Beyond India The expansion of Mother Teresa's mission beyond India is a remarkable story of compassion and determination crossing international borders. After establishing a strong foundation in Calcutta, Mother Teresa began to look outward, recognizing that the need for love and care was not limited to the slums of India. This led to the opening of missions abroad, starting in 1965, when the missionaries of charity expanded their work internationally. The first mission outside India was established in Venezuela, in the city of Kokorot. Here, Mother Teresa and her sister started their work in a similar manner to how they began in Calcutta, by serving the poorest and most neglected individuals. They set up homes for the elderly and the sick, provided food for the hungry, and gave love and care to those who had none. This mission set the template for future international expansions. Following Venezuela, more missions were opened in rapid succession in other parts of the world. Rome, Italy, was one of the early locations, followed by Tanzania in Africa. Each new mission adapted to the local needs and conditions, but the core mission remained the same, to serve the poorest of the poor with love and compassion. The sisters worked in slums, cared for orphans, set up soup kitchens, and opened schools and homes for the dying in various countries. The international expansion of the missionaries of charity was a monumental task. It required not just physical resources, but also immense logistical planning and coordination. Despite these challenges, Mother Teresa's unwavering faith and the dedication of her sisters made it possible. They overcame language barriers, cultural differences, and bureaucratic obstacles to establish these new missions. As the missionaries of charity grew internationally, they began to attract volunteers and helpers from around the world. People of different faiths and backgrounds were drawn to Mother Teresa's mission. They came to offer their skills, time, and resources, inspired by her example of selfless service. This international support played a crucial role in the success and expansion of the missions. Each new mission abroad was not just an expansion of services, but also a beacon of hope and compassion. The work of the missionaries of charity transcended religious and cultural boundaries, showing that the power of love and care is universal. The opening of these missions abroad also brought global attention to the plight of the poor and marginalized, highlighting the need for compassion and action. Mother Teresa's vision of serving the poorest of the poor thus spread far beyond the borders of India, touching lives across the globe. The opening of missions abroad under her guidance is a testament to her belief that love knows no boundaries. It shows how a message of compassion and service can resonate worldwide, inspiring countless individuals to join in the mission of helping those in need. As Mother Teresa's work expanded beyond India, it gained significant international recognition. 
Her dedication to serving the poorest of the poor resonated with people around the world, drawing attention to the missionaries of charity's humanitarian efforts. This growing recognition brought both support and challenges, shaping the next phase of her mission. One of the most significant moments of international recognition for Mother Teresa was receiving the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. This prestigious award brought her work into the global spotlight, highlighting her selfless service and compassion. In her acceptance speech, Mother Teresa spoke about the importance of love and caring for each other, reinforcing her message of peace and charity. The Nobel Peace Prize not only honoured her work, but also helped to spread her message of love and compassion to a wider audience. However, with increased visibility came new challenges. One of the biggest challenges was managing the growing number of missions and ensuring that each maintained the high standards set by Mother Teresa. As the organisation grew, it was essential to preserve the spirit and principles of the missionaries of charity, something Mother Teresa was deeply committed to. Another challenge was dealing with the scepticism and criticism that often comes with international fame. Some critics questioned her methods and the financial management of her organisation. Mother Teresa faced these criticisms with grace and humility, focusing on her work rather than engaging in public debates. Her primary concern was always the welfare of the poor and the sick, and she continued her work undeterred by the criticism. The international recognition also brought an influx of donations and support, which helped to expand the mission further. However, this also brought the challenge of managing these resources effectively. Mother Teresa and her sisters had to ensure that the donations were used in the most effective way to help those in need. This was a significant responsibility, but they managed it with the same dedication and care that characterized all their work. Despite these challenges, the international recognition of Mother Teresa's work had a positive impact. It raised awareness about the issues of poverty and suffering and inspired many people to get involved in humanitarian work. Her example led to an increase in volunteers and donations, which helped to expand the reach of the missionaries of charity and their ability to help the needy. Mother Teresa's journey from the streets of Calcutta to international recognition is a remarkable story of faith, compassion and resilience. Her work transcended cultural and geographical boundaries, showing the world the power of unconditional love and service. The challenges she faced along the way were significant, but her unwavering commitment to her mission helped her to overcome them. Her legacy continues to inspire people around the world, proving that one person's compassion and dedication can indeed make a world of difference. Chapter 8 Controversies and Criticism Mother Teresa's life and work, while widely celebrated for her compassion and dedication, were not without controversies and criticism. As her fame grew internationally, she faced various forms of criticism that challenged her methods and the impact of her work. One of the main criticisms centred on the medical care provided in her homes for the sick and dying. Critics argued that the medical treatment offered was not up to modern standards and there were concerns about the lack of pain relief and proper medical facilities. These criticisms pointed to a gap between the ideal of compassionate care and the realities of what could be provided with limited resources. Another area of criticism was related to the financial management of the missionaries of charity. The organisation received significant donations from around the world, and some critics questioned how these funds were being used. They argued that more of the money could have been spent on improving the medical facilities and living conditions in the homes run by the missionaries of charity. Mother Teresa also faced criticism for her views on issues like abortion and contraception. Her strong stance, influenced by her religious beliefs, was seen by some as out of step with contemporary thoughts on women's rights and reproductive health. This aspect of her work sparked debates, 
particularly among those who held differing views on these sensitive issues. Despite these criticisms, Mother Teresa's focus remained unwaveringly on her mission to serve the poorest of the poor. She often responded to her critics with humility, stating that her work was not about changing policies or practices, but about showing love and compassion to those in need. She believed that by caring for people in their final days, she was offering them something more significant than just medical care. She was offering them a sense of dignity and love. Mother Teresa's approach to these controversies was to continue her work with the same dedication and faith that had always guided her. She accepted criticism as part of the challenges that come with her mission, but did not let it deter her from her goal of serving the needy. Her response to criticism was often to highlight the importance of love and care in her work, rather than engaging in debates about the criticisms themselves. The controversies and criticisms that Mother Teresa faced were complex and highlighted the challenges inherent in humanitarian work. They brought attention to the difficulties of providing care in resource-limited settings and the ethical dilemmas involved in such work. Despite these challenges, Mother Teresa's commitment to her mission of serving the poor and the sick remains steadfast. Her life's work continues to be a source of inspiration for many, even as it invites discussions and debates about the best ways to address poverty and suffering in the world. Mother Teresa's response to the controversies and criticism she faced was characterized by her unwavering commitment to her mission and her deep faith. While she acknowledged the challenges and limitations of her work, she remained focused on her goal of serving the poorest of the poor with love and compassion. Her approach to responding to these criticisms was not confrontational. Instead, she often used them as opportunities to highlight the importance of her work and the values that drove it. When faced with criticism about the medical care in her homes, Mother Teresa emphasized that the aim of her work was not to provide high-level medical treatment, but to offer love, care, and dignity to those who were often neglected. She pointed out that the Missionaries of Charity was not a medical organization, but a religious one, with its primary focus on serving the needy in a spirit of love and compassion. Her focus was on helping people feel cared for and valued in their final days, something she believed was as important as medical care. Regarding the financial management criticisms, Mother Teresa maintained transparency about how donations were used. She stressed that the funds were utilized to support the various services and homes run by the missionaries of charity across the world. While she accepted that not every cent could go directly to improving facilities, she believed that the money was being used effectively to support the overall mission of her organization. In response to criticisms about her views on abortion and contraception, Mother Teresa consistently referred to her faith and religious convictions. She believed that every life was precious and stood firm in her beliefs, even when they were not in line with mainstream views. Her stance on these issues was rooted in her deep religious and ethical principles, and she did not waver in the face of criticism. Mother Teresa's response to challenges was also seen in her continued expansion of the missionaries of charity's work. Despite the criticisms, she kept opening new homes and services, reaching out to more people in need. This expansion was a testament to her belief in her mission and her determination to continue her work, regardless of the obstacles. Her humility and simplicity were key aspects of her response to criticism. Mother Teresa did not seek fame or recognition for her work. Her sole focus was on serving those in need. She often said that she was just a simple nun doing her work, and she did not let criticism distract her from her mission. This humble approach earned her respect and admiration from many, even among her critics. In conclusion, Mother Teresa's response to the controversies and criticism she faced was a reflection of her deep faith, her commitment to her mission, and her unwavering focus on serving the poor with love and compassion. 
Her approach to these challenges highlights the complexities of humanitarian work and the importance of staying true to one's convictions in the face of adversity. Her life and work continue to inspire and provoke thought about how best to serve the most vulnerable in society. Chapter 9. Humanitarian Efforts Mother Teresa's humanitarian efforts extended far beyond the streets of Calcutta, touching lives across the world in times of crisis. Her approach to humanitarian work was driven by a deep sense of empathy and a commitment to provide care and comfort to those in dire need, regardless of their background or circumstances. One of the major humanitarian crises where Mother Teresa's compassion shone through was the famine in Ethiopia in the 1980s. The country faced a devastating period of hunger and disease, and the missionaries of charity, under Mother Teresa's guidance, stepped in to provide aid and relief. They set up feeding centres, provided medical care, and offered comfort to countless suffering individuals. Mother Teresa's presence in Ethiopia brought global attention to the crisis, inspiring others to contribute and help alleviate the suffering. Another significant effort was during the Chernobyl disaster in 1986. After the nuclear plant accident in Ukraine, which had far-reaching effects, Mother Teresa and her missionaries offered support to the victims. They cared for children affected by radiation sickness, providing them with medical attention and a safe haven. This intervention was a testament to Mother Teresa's willingness to respond to suffering anywhere in the world, regardless of the risks or challenges involved. Mother Teresa also played a vital role in aiding the refugees from the civil war in Lebanon in the 1970s and 1980s. The missionaries of charity worked in the war-torn region, offering food, shelter and medical care to those displaced by the conflict. Her work during this period was an example of her courage and her commitment to helping those caught in the crossfire of conflict. In addition to these major crises, Mother Teresa and her missionaries responded to everyday humanitarian needs in various parts of the world. They set up homes for people suffering from diseases such as leprosy and HIV AIDS, offered care to the homeless and the elderly, and provided shelters for orphans and abandoned children. These efforts were driven by Mother Teresa's belief that every act of love and care, no matter how small, made a significant difference. Mother Teresa's humanitarian efforts were often carried out in challenging circumstances, with limited resources. Yet her determination and faith enabled her to make a profound impact. She believed that her mission was not just to provide physical aid, but to bring love and dignity to those who felt abandoned and hopeless. The impact of Mother Teresa's humanitarian efforts is immeasurable. She not only provided practical help to those in need, but also brought hope and compassion to some of the darkest situations. Her response to humanitarian crises and everyday suffering continues to inspire people around the world, demonstrating the power of selfless service and the profound difference one person can make in the face of global challenges. Mother Teresa's humanitarian efforts had a profound impact on global communities, reaching far beyond the immediate areas where she worked. Her approach to serving the needy resonated with people around the world, inspiring countless individuals to engage in humanitarian work and to look at the world with greater empathy and compassion. One of the most significant impacts of Mother Teresa's work was the awareness it brought to the plight of the poor and the suffering. For her actions and words, she highlighted the needs of the most marginalized and forgotten individuals in society. This awareness led to increased support for humanitarian causes and a greater understanding of the challenges faced by the poor globally. Mother Teresa's work also had a unifying effect on global communities. She transcended cultural, religious and national boundaries, demonstrating that the act of caring for those in need is universal. Her mission attracted volunteers and supporters from all over the world, bringing people together in a shared cause. 
This sense of global solidarity was one of the hallmarks of her impact on the world. In addition to providing immediate aid and relief, Mother Teresa's efforts had a lasting impact on the communities she served. The homes, schools and care centres established by the missionaries of charity offered not just short-term assistance but long-term support and development. These institutions provided education, health care and a sense of security and dignity to those who had previously been neglected. This long-term impact has continued to benefit communities even after her passing. Mother Teresa's influence also extended to the way humanitarian work is perceived and conducted. She demonstrated that humanitarian efforts should be based on compassion and respect for the dignity of every individual. Her approach emphasized the importance of treating each person with kindness and care, regardless of their circumstances. This human-centered approach to humanitarian work has influenced many organizations and individuals working in the field. Furthermore, Mother Teresa's life and work inspired many individuals to take up humanitarian work or to live their lives with greater purpose and service to others. Her example of selfless service and dedication motivated people to contribute to their communities and to help those in need, whether in small local actions or larger global initiatives. In summary, Mother Teresa's humanitarian efforts had a far-reaching impact on global communities. Her work brought awareness to the needs of the poor, fostered a sense of global solidarity, had a lasting impact on the communities she served, influenced the approach to humanitarian work, and inspired countless individuals to engage in acts of service. Her legacy continues to resonate globally, reminding us of the power of compassion and the difference one person can make in the lives of many. Chapter 10. Her Faith and Spirituality Mother Teresa's mission was deeply rooted in her faith and spirituality. Her unwavering commitment to serving the poorest of the poor was a direct reflection of her religious beliefs and her relationship with God. From a young age, Mother Teresa felt a strong calling to a life of service, and this calling was intertwined with her deep Christian faith. Her faith was the cornerstone of everything she did. It guided her decisions, gave her strength in difficult times, and inspired her compassionate actions. She often spoke of seeing the face of Jesus in the people she served, which reflects how her faith shaped her view of her work. For Mother Teresa, serving the needy was not just a humanitarian effort. It was a way to live out her faith and express her love for God. Mother Teresa's spirituality was marked by simplicity and a focus on the essentials of her faith, love, compassion and service. Her prayer life was an integral part of her daily routine, and it provided her with the spiritual nourishment and guidance she needed for her work. Prayer was not just a solitary activity for her. It was also a communal practice that she shared with her fellow sisters and the missionaries of charity. This shared spiritual life helped create a strong sense of community and purpose within the organization. Another important aspect of Mother Teresa's faith was her commitment to humility and selflessness. She often spoke of being just a small pencil in the hand of a writing God, highlighting her belief that her work was part of a larger divine plan. This humility was evident in the way she interacted with others and how she carried out her mission. Despite her global fame, she remained focused on her work and the people she served, rather than seeking personal recognition. Mother Teresa's faith also gave her the resilience to face the numerous challenges and hardships that came with her mission. She encountered poverty, illness and suffering on a daily basis, which could be overwhelming. However, her faith provided her with a sense of hope and a belief that her work was making a difference, even in the face of immense suffering. In summary, Mother Teresa's faith and spirituality were the driving forces behind her mission to serve the poorest of the poor. Her Christian beliefs shaped her approach to service, her view of the people she served, and her understanding of her role in the world. 
Her life is a powerful example of how faith can inspire action and how spiritual beliefs can be translated into a life of service and compassion. Her legacy continues to inspire people of all faiths, reminding us of the transformative power of living a life guided by deep spiritual convictions. Mother Teresa's personal spiritual journey was one marked by deep faith, moments of profound insight, and also times of struggle. From her early years in sculpture, where she first felt the call to a religious life, to her years of service in Calcutta, her spirituality was a constant thread that ran through her life, shaping her actions and her mission. Her early exposure to Catholicism through her family and the local church in Scotland laid the foundation for her spiritual path. The death of her father when she was just eight years old was a pivotal moment that deepened her reliance on her faith. As a young girl, she was heavily involved in her church, a commitment that grew stronger as she matured. The stories of missionaries and their work in Bengal, which she heard at church, inspired her and planted the seed for her future mission. At eighteen, Mother Teresa made the life-altering decision to join the Sisters of Loreto, marking a significant step in her spiritual journey. This move to Ireland and later to India was driven by her desire to deepen her religious commitment and serve others. In India, while teaching at Street Mary's High School, she experienced a profound sense of contentment in her faith, yet she felt a growing urge to serve the poor more directly. Her call within a call in 1946, which she experienced during a train ride to Darjeeling, was a moment of intense spiritual revelation. She felt a divine command to leave the convent and help the destitute in the slums of Calcutta. This experience was a turning point in her spiritual journey, leading her to establish the missionaries of charity and dedicate her life to serving the poorest of the poor. Mother Teresa's spiritual journey was not without its challenges. She faced periods of spiritual dryness and darkness, which she described in her letters and writings. These were times when she felt an intense loneliness and separation from God, a struggle that is common in the lives of many spiritual figures. Despite these feelings, she continued her work with unwavering commitment, driven by her deep faith and her sense of duty to those she served. Her spirituality was characterized by a profound sense of empathy and a deep connection with the suffering of others. She often spoke of finding Jesus in the poorest of the poor and of serving him through her service to them. This perspective was a guiding principle in her work and her interactions with the people she helped. Mother Teresa's personal spiritual journey was one of deep faith, selfless service, and resilience in the face of challenges. Her life exemplifies how a strong spiritual foundation can guide and sustain a person through a life of service. Her journey inspires many, highlighting the power of faith to overcome obstacles and to drive meaningful change in the world. Chapter 11 Awards and Recognition Mother Teresa's selfless service to the poorest of the poor brought her international recognition and numerous awards, the most notable being the Nobel Peace Prize. In 1979, she was awarded this prestigious honour, acknowledging her tireless efforts and significant impact in alleviating human suffering. The Nobel Peace Prize is one of the highest honours in the world, and for Mother Teresa, it was a recognition not just of her work, but of the dignity and worth of the people she served. Receiving the Nobel Peace Prize put a global spotlight on Mother Teresa's mission. In her acceptance speech, she spoke about the importance of love and peace, emphasizing her belief that caring for others brings peace to the world. She dedicated the award to the poor, saying, I accept the prize in the name of the poor. This humble acceptance was characteristic of her approach to her work and her life, always putting the needs and welfare of the poor first. In addition to the Nobel Peace Prize, Mother Teresa received numerous other honours and awards throughout her life. 
These included the Patma Shri from India in 1962 for her services to the people, the Pope John XEA Peace Prize in 1971, the Nehru Prize for her promotion of international peace and understanding in 1972, and the Belzin Prize for promoting humanity, peace and brotherhood among peoples in 1978. Each of these awards highlighted different aspects of her work and her impact on various communities. The United States honoured her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1985, one of the highest civilian honours in the country. The United Kingdom granted her the honorary citizenship in 1996, recognising her contributions to the world. These international accolades reflected the wide-reaching influence of her work and the global appreciation for her humanitarian efforts. Despite these many honours, Mother Teresa remained humble and focused on her mission. She often used the attention and resources she received from these awards to further her work with the poor. She was not interested in personal fame or recognition. Her only goal was to help those in need. Mother Teresa's awards and recognition brought her work into the public eye, inspiring many to support her cause and to take action in their own communities. Her acceptance of these honours was always with the intention of bringing more awareness and support to the plight of the poor and the suffering. The Nobel Peace Prize and other honours that Mother Teresa received are a testament to the impact of her life's work. They honour not only her but also the values she stood for, compassion, selflessness and a commitment to peace and service. Her legacy, strengthened by these recognitions, continues to inspire and influence humanitarian work around the world. The global recognition that Mother Teresa received through her numerous awards and honours had a significant impact on both her work and the wider world. This recognition brought her mission and the plight of the poor to the forefront of international consciousness, inspiring many to take notice and contribute to humanitarian causes. The Nobel Peace Prize, in particular, had a profound effect. It not only acknowledged Mother Teresa's dedication and achievements, but also highlighted the issues of poverty and suffering on a global scale. The attention from this honour led to increased support for her work, with more donations and volunteers coming forward to assist the missionaries of charity in their mission. This influx of support helped to expand the reach of her organisation, allowing them to establish new homes, care centres and services for the needy in more countries around the world. Mother Teresa's global recognition also had a ripple effect, inspiring individuals and organisations to engage in similar humanitarian work. People from various backgrounds were moved by her example to participate in or start their own efforts to help the less fortunate. Her life became a powerful symbol of selfless service and compassion, influencing public opinion and policy on issues related to poverty and social justice. Furthermore, the international accolades brought Mother Teresa into contact with influential leaders and decision makers giving her a platform to advocate for the poor and the marginalised. She used these opportunities to speak out about the injustices and hardships faced by the poor, urging leaders and the public to take action. Her messages were powerful, often challenging the status quo and encouraging a greater focus on compassion and aid for those in need. Despite the global recognition, Mother Teresa remained humble and focused on her mission. She consistently redirected the attention she received towards the plight of the poor and the work of the missionaries of charity. She viewed the accolades not as personal achievements, but as acknowledgments of the importance of caring for the least fortunate in society. The impact of Mother Teresa's global recognition can also be seen in the lasting legacy she left behind. Her work and her message continue to inspire and guide humanitarian efforts worldwide. The Missionaries of Charity, the organisation she founded, still operates globally, carrying on her mission of serving the poorest of the poor with the same spirit and dedication. 
In summary, the global recognition of Mother Teresa had a significant impact on her work and the wider world. It brought much needed attention and resources to her mission, inspired others to engage in humanitarian efforts, gave her a platform to advocate for the poor, and solidified her legacy as a symbol of compassion and selfless service. Her awards and honours are a testament to the power of dedication and love in making a positive difference in the world. Chapter 12 Final Years In her final years, Mother Teresa faced significant health challenges, but her determination to continue her work never wavered. Despite declining health, she remained actively involved in the missionaries of charity and continued to be a symbol of compassion and service to the poor. Mother Teresa's health began to deteriorate in the late 1980s. She suffered from various heart problems, leading to several hospitalizations. In 1989, she had a heart attack and subsequently received a pacemaker. Despite these health issues, she continued to travel and worked tirelessly, showing remarkable resilience and dedication. Her health problems did not dampen her spirit or her commitment to her mission. In 1991, Mother Teresa battled pneumonia in Mexico, which further weakened her heart. This was followed by more health issues, including malaria and chest infections. In 1996, she fell and broke her collarbone, adding to her health woes. These physical ailments were significant setbacks, but Mother Teresa faced them with characteristic strength and faith. She often spoke of sharing in the suffering of the poor, and her own health struggles seemed to deepen her empathy and connection with those she served. Despite her declining health, Mother Teresa's focus remained on the missionaries of charity and the people they helped. She continued to oversee the operations of the organization, provide guidance, and participate in its activities as much as her health allowed. Her presence, even when she was not physically strong, was a source of inspiration and strength to the sisters and volunteers in the organization. Mother Teresa's unwavering commitment to her work, even in the face of serious health challenges, was a testament to her extraordinary dedication and spirit. She was a living example of selflessness, putting the needs of the poor and the sick above her own health and comfort. Her perseverance through illness and pain inspired many and highlighted the depth of her compassion and love for the needy. Her health issues also brought attention to the human aspect of her life, showing that she too faced vulnerabilities and challenges. This humanization of Mother Teresa made her more relatable and deepened the admiration and respect people had for her. It showed that her life's work was not just a result of her strength and abilities, but also of her profound faith and commitment to her calling. In summary, Mother Teresa's final years were marked by significant health challenges, but these did not deter her from her mission of serving the poorest of the poor. Her ability to continue her work, despite her health problems, is a powerful illustration of her resilience, faith and dedication. Her life's journey, particularly in her final years, continues to inspire and motivate people worldwide, serving as a powerful reminder of the impact of selfless service and unwavering commitment to a cause. In the final years of her life, Mother Teresa not only continued to inspire through her own work, but also laid the foundation for the future of the missionaries of charity. Her legacy was not just in the work she accomplished, but also in the succession plan she put in place to ensure that her mission would continue after her passing. As her health declined, Mother Teresa began to think about the future of the missionaries of charity. In 1997, she stepped down as the head of the organization, and Sister Nirmala was elected to succeed her. This transition was a significant moment for the missionaries of charity, marking the first time since its founding that someone other than Mother Teresa would lead it. Sister Nirmala, who had been closely associated with Mother Teresa at the organization for many years, was a natural choice to carry on the legacy. She shared Mother Teresa's vision and commitment, 
and under her leadership, the missionaries of charity continued to grow and serve the needy around the world. Mother Teresa's legacy is profound and far-reaching. She left behind an organization that had over 4,000 sisters and was active in 123 countries at the time of her death. The homes, schools and other facilities established by the missionaries of charity continued to provide care, education and support to thousands of people. Her approach to serving the poorest of the poor with love and compassion inspired countless individuals and organizations to take up similar work. She became a global symbol of selfless service and a beacon of hope for the marginalized. Beyond the tangible achievements, Mother Teresa's legacy is also in the values and principles she embodied. Her life was a testament to the power of kindness, humility and the relentless pursuit of a cause greater than oneself. She showed the world that it is possible to make a significant impact through simple acts of love and care. Mother Teresa's death in September 1997 was a moment of both mourning and reflection. People from all walks of life, from the poorest in the slums of Calcutta to world leaders, paid tribute to her life and work. Her funeral was attended by many dignitaries and was broadcast around the world reflecting the widespread respect and admiration she had earned. The succession of the missionaries of charity under Sister Nirmala and later leaders ensured that Mother Teresa's mission would continue. The organization remains a vital force in humanitarian work, adhering to the principles and spirit of its founder. The sisters and volunteers of the missionaries of charity carry on Mother Teresa's work serving the poor and the suffering in various parts of the world. In summary, Mother Teresa's final years were not only about her continued dedication to her mission, but also about ensuring the longevity and sustainability of her work. Her legacy is seen in the ongoing work of the missionaries of charity, the values she instilled in those she touched, and the global impact of her life's work. Her succession plan ensured that her mission of love and service would endure, continuing to make a difference in the lives of the needy and inspiring future generations to live a life of compassion and service. Chapter 13 Passing and Beatification Mother Teresa's passing on September 5, 1997, marked the end of an era and elicited a global outpouring of grief and admiration. Known worldwide for her selfless work with the poorest of the poor, her death was not just a loss to the missionaries of charity, but to people of all walks of life who had been touched by her compassion and dedication. She died at the age of 87 in Calcutta, the city that had been the centre of her humanitarian work for over four decades. The news of her death quickly spread across the world, leading to an outpouring of tributes and condolences. People from different countries, cultures and religions expressed their sorrow and respect for a woman who had dedicated her life to serving others. Leaders and dignitaries from around the globe sent messages acknowledging her impact and legacy. Her funeral was a testament to the respect she commanded worldwide. It was attended by state leaders, dignitaries and thousands of people from all over the world including the poor she had served. In Calcutta, where she had spent most of her life serving the needy, the reaction to her death was profound. The streets were filled with people who came to pay their respects, and the city mourned the loss of a figure who had become synonymous with compassion and service. Her funeral procession through the streets of Calcutta was a poignant moment with people of all ages and backgrounds coming together to bid farewell to a woman who had become a symbol of hope and love for the marginalized. Mother Teresa's death also brought a renewed focus on her work and the missionaries of charity. It prompted reflections on the impact of her mission and the continuing need to address the issues of poverty and suffering. Many people were inspired to continue or start their own efforts to help the needy keeping alive the spirit of service that she embodied. The global reaction to Mother Teresa's passing highlighted the universal appeal and impact of her life's work. 
she had become more than just a religious figure. She was a moral and humanitarian icon whose life and message had a profound effect on people around the world. Her death was not just the loss of a religious sister, but the loss of a global symbol of selfless love and service. In summary, Mother Teresa's death was a significant event that resonated globally. The world's reaction to her passing was a reflection of the widespread admiration and respect she had garnered through her life. Her funeral brought together people from diverse backgrounds all united in their respect and love for a woman who had shown the world the power of compassion and service. Her passing was mourned by many, but it also served as a reminder of the enduring impact of her work and the ongoing need to care for the less fortunate. The beatification of Mother Teresa, a process in the Catholic Church that acknowledges a person's entrance into heaven and ability to intercede on behalf of individuals who pray in their name, was a significant event that marked her enduring spiritual impact. This process began in an unusually swift manner following her death in 1997. In the Catholic tradition, beatification is a step towards canonization, the declaration of a person as a saint. For Mother Teresa, this process was expedited due to her widespread recognition as a figure of immense compassion and faith. In 1999, just two years after her death, Pope John Paul II waived the customary five-year waiting period and allowed the immediate opening of her beatification cause. This unprecedented move was a testament to Mother Teresa's global stature and the widespread belief in her saintly virtues. The beatification process involves a rigorous examination of a candidate's life, virtues and, importantly, evidence of miracles attributed to their intercession after death. For Mother Teresa, the first miracle that was considered for her beatification was the healing of a woman in India who suffered from a stomach tumour. The woman's family prayed to Mother Teresa, and the tumour was found to have disappeared mysteriously. After thorough investigations by the church, including medical examinations and the testimony of doctors, this healing was recognized as a miracle attributable to Mother Teresa's intercession. On October 19, 2003, Mother Teresa was beatified by Pope John Paul II in a ceremony held in Street Peter's Square in Vatican City. The event drew thousands of pilgrims and followers from all over the world, reflecting the global appeal and impact of her life's work. Beatification bestowed upon her the title Blessed, a significant acknowledgement in the Catholic Church. The beatification of Mother Teresa had a profound significance. It was not only a recognition of her holiness and the impact of her work, but also a message of hope and inspiration to people around the world. It reinforced the idea that a life dedicated to serving others, regardless of religion or background, is a path to spiritual fulfillment and recognition. For the missionaries of charity, Mother Teresa's beatification was a reaffirmation of their mission and an inspiration to continue their work with renewed vigour. It also attracted more attention and support to the organisation, enabling them to expand their services and reach more people in need. In summary, the beatification process and significance of Mother Teresa marked a pivotal moment in acknowledging her life and work. Her rapid beatification was a reflection of her widespread reputation as a person of deep faith and extraordinary service. It solidified her status as one of the most revered figures in recent history and served as an inspiration for acts of compassion and charity worldwide. Mother Teresa's beatification remains a symbol of the impact that a life dedicated to serving others can have, transcending religious and cultural boundaries. Chapter 14. The Missionaries of Charity Today Today, the Missionaries of Charity, the organization founded by Mother Teresa, continues to thrive and expand its reach across the globe. After Mother Teresa's passing, the organization has upheld her legacy maintaining its commitment to serving the poorest of the poor with unwavering dedication and compassion. 
The current state of the Missionaries of Charity reflects a vibrant and active organization that has grown significantly in both size and scope since its inception. As of now, the Missionaries of Charity has a substantial global presence, with hundreds of missions in countries around the world. These missions operate in diverse environments, from urban slums to rural communities, continuing the work started by Mother Teresa. The sisters and volunteers of the organization provide a range of services, including running soup kitchens, schools, orphanages, and homes for the sick and elderly. They continue to focus on caring for those who are often neglected by society, such as people with HIV slash AIDS, leprosy patients, and the homeless. The global spread of the missionaries of charity is a testament to the enduring appeal and relevance of Mother Teresa's vision. Each mission that adapts to the local needs and cultural context, ensuring that the aid provided is effective and appropriate. Despite the varied settings in which they operate, all missions share the common goal of serving with love and humility, guided by the principles established by Mother Teresa. The organization's growth has also been marked by an increase in the number of sisters and volunteers. People from various parts of the world, drawn by the mission and values of the missionaries of charity, join to contribute their time, skills and resources. This growing community is a reflection of the widespread impact of Mother Teresa's life and work, inspiring individuals from different backgrounds to engage in humanitarian service. In addition to direct service, the Missionaries of Charity also plays a significant role in raising awareness about poverty and need. Through their work, they highlight the issues faced by the poor and encourage others to take action. The organization's continued presence and activities serve as a reminder of the ongoing need for compassion and aid in addressing global poverty and suffering. The missionaries of charities adherence to its founding principles while adapting to contemporary challenges is a key aspect of its current state. The organization has remained true to Mother Teresa's vision of serving with simplicity and love even as it navigates the complexities of modern-day humanitarian work. This balance of maintaining core values while evolving to meet current needs has been crucial to its continued relevance and effectiveness. In summary, the Missionaries of Charity today stands as a powerful and active force in humanitarian work, with a strong global presence and a growing community of sisters and volunteers. The organization, true to the legacy of its founder, continues to make a significant impact on the lives of the poor and marginalized, driven by a mission of love, service and compassion. Its ongoing work is a testament to the lasting influence of Mother Teresa and her vision of caring for the least among us. Continuing Mother Teresa's legacy, the Missionaries of Charity today upholds the values and dedication that she exemplified throughout her life. The organization remains deeply committed to serving the poorest of the poor, a mission that Mother Teresa set forth with her founding principles of love, service and humility. The sisters and volunteers continue to work in the spirit of Mother Teresa, extending care and compassion to those most in need, embodying her belief that small acts of love can make a big difference. The Missionaries of Charity's approach to service is still based on Mother Teresa's philosophy of seeing the face of Jesus in every person they serve. This outlook drives them to treat everyone with the utmost respect and dignity regardless of their background or circumstances. The sisters work tirelessly, often in challenging and difficult environments, to provide comfort and assistance to the destitute, the sick, the orphaned and the dying. Their work is not just about meeting physical needs, but also about offering emotional and spiritual support. An essential aspect of continuing Mother Teresa's legacy is the organization's commitment to simplicity and humility. Despite the global recognition and the accolades that the Missionaries of Charity has received, the sisters maintain a simple lifestyle, focusing on their service rather than seeking personal recognition. 
This humility is at the core of their work and is a direct reflection of Mother Teresa's own way of life. The Missionaries of Charity also continues Mother Teresa's legacy through its global outreach. The organization has expanded its presence worldwide, establishing new missions and extending its services to more countries. This expansion means that more people in need are being reached and the message of love and compassion is being spread further. The international nature of the organization also brings together people from different cultures and backgrounds, united by a common goal of service. In addition to direct service, the Missionaries of Charity plays a significant role in inspiring others. Mother Teresa's life and work continue to be a source of inspiration for people around the world. Many are moved to volunteer, donate, or even start their own initiatives to help the needy, following her example. The organization's work reminds everyone of the power of kindness and the impact that each person can have in making the world a better place. Furthermore, the Missionaries of Charity focuses on nurturing and training new members, ensuring that the spirit of Mother Teresa's mission is carried on by future generations. The sisters receive training not only in providing care and service, but also in embodying the values that Mother Teresa championed. This training ensures that her legacy is preserved and that her mission continues to thrive. In summary, the Missionaries of Charity today is a living testament to Mother Teresa's enduring legacy. The organization continues her mission of serving the poorest of the poor with love, humility and compassion. Through their work, the sisters and volunteers keep Mother Teresa's spirit alive, impacting the lives of many and inspiring others to take up the mantle of service and kindness. Her legacy continues to resonate globally, guiding the missionaries of charity in their noble mission. Chapter 15 Reflections on her life Reflecting on Mother Teresa's life, her work has been the subject of various analyses and perspectives, each highlighting different aspects of her impact and legacy. Her life's work, dedicated to serving the poorest of the poor, has been both highly praised and critically examined, offering a multifaceted view of her contributions to humanitarian efforts. One of the most notable aspects of Mother Teresa's work is her embodiment of compassion and unconditional love. She is widely admired for her selfless dedication to helping those in dire need, regardless of their background or circumstances. This aspect of her work has inspired countless individuals and organizations to engage in humanitarian and charitable activities. Her approach to service, characterized by direct, hands-on care and personal connection with those she helped, set a powerful example of empathy and action. Critically, some have analyzed Mother Teresa's approach to care and questioned the medical adequacy and ethical aspects of her missions. Critics have pointed out that some of the homes run by the missionaries of charity lacked sufficient medical care and facilities. They argue that, while her intentions were noble, the practical execution in some instances fell short of modern medical standards. This critique reflects the complexities and challenges of providing care in resource-limited settings. Additionally, Mother Teresa's views on suffering and her religious convictions have been subjects of analysis. Some have praised her for finding spiritual value in helping the suffering, while others have questioned whether this approach overshadowed the need for more practical solutions to poverty and disease. Her staunch religious beliefs and stances on issues like abortion and contraception have also been topics of discussion reflecting broader debates on religion and social issues. Despite these critiques, Mother Teresa's work is widely regarded as a significant contribution to humanitarian efforts. She brought global attention to issues of poverty and need, particularly in developing countries. Her life's work has been a catalyst for discussions on how best to address these challenges, both from a humanitarian and a policy perspective. Moreover, Mother Teresa's impact on the concept of service and charity is profound. 
Her model of compassionate care has influenced the way many humanitarian organizations operate, emphasizing the dignity and worth of every individual. Her life has been a powerful reminder that caring for the less fortunate is a responsibility that transcends geographical, cultural and religious boundaries. In summary, reflections on Mother Teresa's life and work reveal a complex and impactful legacy. While her approach and methods have been subject to critique and analysis, her unwavering commitment to serving the needy is universally recognised and admired. Her life has inspired a global conversation on humanitarian service and set a powerful example of compassion in action. Mother Teresa's contributions continue to influence and shape efforts to address poverty and suffering worldwide. The reflections on Mother Teresa's life are enriched by personal stories and testimonies from those who knew her or were impacted by her work. These narratives offer intimate glimpses into her character, her day-to-day -day life, and the profound effect she'd had on individuals. Many who worked with Mother Teresa recall her remarkable empathy and the personal attention she gave to everyone she met. There are stories of her sitting beside the sick and dying, holding their hands, and offering words of comfort. These moments highlight her belief in the dignity of every human life and her commitment to providing personal care and attention, which was at the heart of her mission. Volunteers and sisters of the missionaries of charity share accounts of Mother Teresa's humility and simplicity. Despite her global recognition, she lived a life devoid of material possessions, focusing solely on her service. Her daily life was a reflection of the values she preached, a life of poverty, simplicity and dedication to the poor. Her lifestyle has been a source of inspiration for many, demonstrating that true contentment and fulfilment can be found in a life of service. There are also numerous testimonies from the people she helped, offering a perspective on the direct impact of her work. People who were once residents of the homes run by the missionaries of charity speak of the sense of safety and care they felt. Many recall the transformation in their lives due to the education, health care and love they received. These personal stories underscore the tangible difference Mother Teresa's work made in the lives of thousands of individuals. Additionally, people from around the world who met Mother Teresa, even briefly, often speak of how those encounters left a lasting impression on them. They describe her aura of peace and compassion, and how a simple interaction with her could inspire a deeper commitment to kindness and charity in their own lives. Among the testimonies are also accounts from people who disagreed with some of her views or methods, but still respected her dedication and the sincerity of her mission. These narratives add to the complexity of her legacy, acknowledging that while there were differing opinions about her approach, her intent and commitment to serving the needy were unquestionable. In summary, the personal stories and testimonies about Mother Teresa paint a picture of a woman who was not only a global icon of charity, but also a person of profound empathy, humility and dedication. These narratives provide a deeper understanding of her character and the impact of her work on individuals. They illustrate the human side of Mother Teresa, showcasing how her compassion, simplicity and unwavering commitment to service touched and transformed countless lives. Her legacy, as seen through these personal stories, continues to inspire and influence people worldwide, reinforcing the enduring impact of her life and work. Chapter 16 Mother Teresa's Timeless Message Mother Teresa's life was a testament to a set of key teachings and philosophies that continue to resonate across the world. Her messages, grounded in love, service, and humility form a timeless legacy that transcends religious, cultural, and national boundaries. One of her central teachings was the importance of love and compassion in action. Mother Teresa believed that the greatest disease in the world was not physical, but the feeling of being unwanted and unloved. She emphasized that showing love and kindness to others, 
especially those neglected by society, was paramount. Her philosophy was that small acts of love and care can have a profound impact, a belief she put into practice through her work with the poor and the sick. Mother Teresa also talked about the value of simplicity and humility. She lived a life devoid of material possessions, focusing instead on serving others. This approach was not just about personal sacrifice, but was also a message about the true essence of happiness and fulfilment. She often said that we find joy in giving and in being of service to others. Her life demonstrated that true contentment comes not from what we have but from what we give. Another key aspect of Mother Teresa's philosophy was the dignity of every human life. She treated everyone she met with respect and care, regardless of their background or circumstances. Her work was driven by the belief that every person is valuable and worthy of love and attention. This respect for human dignity informed all aspects of her work, from caring for the sick and dying to her interactions with volunteers and visitors. Mother Teresa also emphasized the importance of faith and trust in God. Her own life was deeply rooted in her Christian faith, which she saw as the driving force behind her work. She believed that serving others was a way of serving God, and she often spoke of seeing the face of Jesus in the people she helped. Her message was that faith can be a source of strength and guidance, especially in times of difficulty and doubt. Her teachings about service and selflessness are particularly poignant. Mother Teresa believed that we are all called to serve one another, and that true service requires selflessness. She taught that in giving of ourselves, we receive, and in serving others, we find true purpose and meaning in life. In summary, Mother Teresa's key teachings and philosophies revolve around the power of love, the value of simplicity and humility, the dignity of every human life, the importance of faith, and the call to service and selflessness. These principles not only guided her own life, but also continue to inspire and influence people around the world. Her message is deeply human and universally applicable, serve as a guiding light for anyone seeking to make a positive difference in the world. Mother Teresa's enduring influence in the modern world is a testament to the timeless nature of her message and the universal appeal of her life's work. Her teachings and example continue to resonate globally, impacting individuals and communities, and influencing humanitarian efforts. In a world often marked by materialism and individualism, Mother Teresa's emphasis on compassion, selflessness, and service to others offers a powerful counter-narrative. Her belief in doing small things with great love inspires people to engage in acts of kindness in their daily lives, reminding them of the impact they can have on others. This message is particularly relevant in today's fast-paced, often impersonal world, encouraging people to slow down and consider the needs of those around them. Mother Teresa's focus on the dignity of every human being, regardless of their social status or background, continues to be a guiding principle for social and humanitarian work. Her approach challenges society to look beyond superficial differences and to treat every individual with respect and compassion. This aspect of her legacy is especially important in addressing issues like homelessness, poverty and disease, where people are often marginalised or overlooked. Her teachings about simplicity and humility offer a perspective that is increasingly significant in a world grappling with environmental and social sustainability. Mother Teresa's lifestyle and her organization's approach to service, devoid of extravagance, underscore the importance of responsible living and the value of focusing on human connections rather than material possessions. In the realm of humanitarian efforts, Mother Teresa's influence is evident in the work of numerous charities and organizations. Her model of hands-on, compassionate care has been adopted by many who work in similar fields. Organizations and individuals are inspired by her dedication 
to serving the most vulnerable and are motivated to take up similar missions, adapting her approach to various contexts and needs. Moreover, Mother Teresa's life and message have had a profound impact on individuals' spiritual and personal journeys. People from various faiths and backgrounds draw inspiration from her dedication and commitment to her faith and principles. Her example encourages others to explore and deepen their own spiritual lives, seeking purpose and fulfilment in service and love. The enduring influence of Mother Teresa in the modern world is also reflected in the continued growth and work of the Missionaries of Charity. The organization remains active in many countries, carrying on her mission of serving the poorest of the poor. The sisters and volunteers of the Missionaries of Charity, following in her footsteps, are a living testament to the ongoing relevance and impact of her work. In summary, Mother Teresa's enduring influence in the modern world is seen in the widespread adoption of her teachings of compassion, dignity, simplicity and service. Her legacy continues to inspire individual acts of kindness, influences humanitarian efforts and guides those seeking a deeper spiritual and personal fulfilment. Her life and message remain a powerful beacon of hope and a call to action in a world in need of compassion and selflessness.